Okay, so I'm hoping this is going to go better. I am sort of testing um, Zoom with uh, YouTube Live, so apologies. <laughs> I'm the mad scientist. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video on how you tell the size of your images. So here's my site here. And the reason I want to know the size of my images is because I want to set up um, a new template for my blogs. I'm thinking I'm going to go white and, and not have the colours, see how that looks. So I want to know what the size of my blog images are. Um, so I'm going to write, and just so you know, these are all auto-generated, which is why they're not beautifully pretty. But every time I needed to do a blog, I had to create an image and it ended up not getting done. So I'm trying to automate as much as I can so that I can bring the content to you. So um, what you want to do is if you right click on any image, so I can find out the size of my logo, I can right click on any image. So what you want to do is find here, so right click and view image info. Okay, so that comes up and you can see it's a JPEG and the size in uh, kilobytes. So that's just like how much memory it's taking up, um, which sometimes you need to know if you're trying to upload to your WordPress site or something like that. It can limit the amounts. Obviously, yeah, that's tiny. But if it was like 100 megabytes, you might have a problem. And then the dimensions. So it's 640 pixels by 200 pixels. OK, so if I wanted to create an image exactly that size, I would go over to Canva or something similar and go file it's been a bit slow let's have a look so create design okay look use custom dimensions and it was let me just go and check because my memory is terrible i think it was 640 uh 640 by 200 so 640 by 200 and design And then I have the exact same image. So if you're working with a template for your WordPress site or you have to create a particular image for something and it has to be a certain size, then that's how you work out the size for your browser. And that's how you can create an exactly the same size image within Canvas. So hopefully that helps. Hello again. So I am hoping this is working. So I'm just basically testing because one of the things I do when I create my content is I use Zoom because it allows me to, oh, I'll do a whole new video on that. I mean, it's just amazing. It will change the way you work, I promise. But um, what I want to do now is the way that I have set my blog up is that um, it auto generates a blog image based on my title of my blog. So I just need a really plain blog image, which then puts the text over the top. So I'm going to do the whole training for that within the tech lab. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you because I'm doing it, how we create that. So I'm going to basically, you've got all the images that I've ever used here. So I'm going to put my logo in here. Now, for if you have a look at my site, basically, I want the text and I might change the text to go here. So I'm just looking for something around it. So I've decided to go white. Um, oh, let me find my page again. Bear with me, it's a problem with doing it live. So I just, I'm, I just want it really, I just wondered, and it might not look right, because at the moment, if you look at my blog um, on the home page. I've got it auto, bringing in auto colours, so it creates a little bit of variety. Um, so I sort of picked the colours that, that matched um, the work that I was doing, so they're all in the same sort of tones. But I just wondered what it would look like if I had them all white, so I thought I would give it a go because I'm a player. <laughs> um, and see, so I thought if I had my logo, maybe if I have it in the middle, um normally there you go so what i love about canva is it helps you center things so you can see that that line comes up when it is centered okay in theory that doesn't look quite centered to me but i'm going to trust canva um in fact i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger maybe make sure that is centered i don't know if that, that doesn't look very centered but i'm going to go with it who knows um 
and I might want a nice so looking I'm just trying to mirror the design of my site really so um it's they're going to come up here and they're going to go on the top so I was thinking that if they were just white so to keep it really really simple um I'm just trying to think I might put I see if I wanted to put a um a border around then I would look for a shape let's have a look like this for instance and I might then pull that in to fit around the edges yeah so canvas very very easy to use so I'm going to do so that then I might go for the black so if I want to change the color I click on it and then I change it to black like that okay um so now I just want to move I just want to move my logo but sometimes you've got to move things around a bit because of layers so with all image programs you've got layers and things so um which means sometimes I when when a layer is above you have problems moving it so I'm just so it's just a matter of moving things around until you're happy with the way it looks and then I'm going to put some text on the bottom so and basically it's to remind people to pin this. So I want people to pin this over on Pinterest. So did you like this? Love a share or a pin. All right, let me just check what I've put um, so far. And this advice came from the wonderful Sarah Arrow when she was talking about um, images on your blog like to try and remind people so like this post don't forget to pin it and share it with your friends okay because then um don't forget to pin and share this with your friends find more at victoriacaseborn.com Okay, so I am going to make it smaller because obviously I need to have space for the actual text. Because I'm dyslexic, I'm just going to read that and make sure that I have not misspelt anything. This really isn't looking <laughs> interesting enough uh, it, but it looks doesn't look right to me. Um, did you like this? Or, um, don't forget to pin and share this with your friends. Find more at victoriacaseborn.com. I'd really like that on one row, on one row really. Um, whether or not that's going to be too small, but let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm going again. It's telling me that it's central. I'm not 100% sure. I might just have squiffy eyes on. <laughs> um so yeah so then what you want to do is once you've got your blog image now if you're not doing like me I'm keeping them all really plain because it's basically the auto generates the text within here so each blog image is the same and it's just going to have my blog title here if for instance you want to um, have an image then it might be that you upload an image now be really careful with the images that you you use because um it needs to be they need to be royalty free uh, and you need to have the rights to them. So buy them or make sure you're, you're sourcing them correctly. But you can upload them here or take images yourself. So once you're happy, um, you just upload an image and then you can move it around. Like I said, it's the layers that are causing the issue here. So you just need to move things out of the way so that you can move them. Um, so it could be that. And, and with this automated thing, I can have a background on it as well. So it might be that I go, um, actually, if I remove... Let's see, it's the it's the layers. Uh, actually, the arranged. I think I can move that. So if I wanted that back, but then it's not going to show on top of the image. So um, I'm going to delete that. So I just press the back key there to delete that. And I have got some. Um, so to pull in with my website here on the home page, I've got wood, which it pulls over with some other businesses that I run. Um, so I quite like that so I'm sure I have uploaded um, that which might look quite nice so if I can just find that and have that as the background so I'm just gonna make that bigger I've got the uh, wheelie doom of death so I'm gonna control I'm gonna control C and control V that so I've got two copies on there I just think it's helpful sometimes to see someone's workflow. So this isn't really a tutorial as such, 
I'm more doing it and I'm filming as I'm doing it, which I think is going to be the content that I'm going to start creating. So you can see now because I've just added these, these have gone over everything. Okay, so don't worry, you've not lost it. If you go to the arrange, you can then send them back. Okay, so we want it to go behind. There we go. So keep going back. They want to be basically as far back. So arrange, back, 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 back. There we go. That's going to be the issue is that my logo it hasn't got a transparent background. So I don't really like that. Um, but maybe. So I'm just playing. And I think that's the key is you just want to play. So maybe, um, so don't worry. Now I could then go and find my logo. Um, with a transparent background, but oh, that would take a lot of time. And I'm not being brilliant today. And I was just trying to get some stuff done. So don't know what that looks like. Haven't made my mind up whether that's going to make it onto the website. But I just wanted to show you how I use Canva, really. Um, and then basically, yeah, when I'm happy, I would share it. And I wouldn't share it. Sorry. I would download it and select either like JPEG or PNG and download it. And as long as you haven't used any of their images, then it's totally free to download. And that's the other thing. If you if you did want to use one of their images, which they're really great and they're really affordable. So for instance, if I wanted an artist, I would search here and they would have all these artists here, you see. So I could sort of use one of their images and it's normally that it's a dollar every time you use it. So it's nothing um, and it's really handy just to have them there. So that is worth an option uh there so there you go <laughs> hopefully that's been helpful and be interesting to see how this looks on youtube live thanks for watching actually i'm just going to check because i think i there was an option that i could have um some comments but i'm still learning so apologies if you've left comments no okay that's fine brilliant okay well thank you so much for uh <laughs> it's technology watching um do feel free to share and pin this video if you found it helpful um and uh, have a great day bye